They do not make college football finishes any more thrilling than Saturday night's madness at Carter Finley. And while Mike Glennon and Brian Underwood were the ultimate heroes, only one legend was born. Large shirtless pole guy. There he was for all the nation to see an unforgettable beacon heralding the most improbable of victories. Saw the pole, security guard said no, but I just acted like I was deaf. I <laughs> took the shirt off because that seemed right. But even Jake Robinson had nearly given up hope early in the second half. I even left tailgate in the third quarter. Once Glennon found Underwood for the winning score, though, a special celebration was in order, and Jake was just the man. Obviously, I'm a large man, so <laughs> it was easy for the camera to spot me. And as many people kind of mentioned on Twitter, I don't have much of a tan either, so <laughs> I was kind of a spotlight. Robinson's a bona fide Internet celebrity now. Ladies are flocking. It's amazing how many ladies love the belly. And he's been on a virtual media tour. And Jake's even dabbling in politics now. He reached out to First Lady Michelle Obama. She's having a big campaign against obesity, so uh, I figured obesity made me a legend. <laughs> so I just wanted to let her know that she probably feels a little uh, down about herself right now. He has a job waiting in Hickory, but real life can wait. Monday, he was home in the PAX Hall of Honor, walking amongst his fellow NC State immortals. Carter Finley was electric, and you know, yeah. it's uh, you know, representation right here, how passionate our fans are. Probably not Philip Rivers, but I'm probably right around uh, T.A. McClendon level.